Okay guys, so everything that I'm sharing in this video is just my opinion and it is not any kind of advice. Now, the reason why I share this disclaimer is because crypto can be unpredictable and anything can happen. Things can change overnight. And it's one of those industries where you need to be at the cutting edge for the most part. If you don't want to be at the cutting edge, you should just buy Bitcoin or buy Ethereum, but then you won't get the massive upside, right? And I think Pulse Chain is also a good bit for if you want stable gains without to, without being that deep. But for the most part, it's just Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are the ones that are have kind of kind of solidified their path. Uh, Bitcoin is accepted globally as a, a, a store of value or a currency in some parts in El Salvador, for example. So it's not as risky. However, it doesn't have as much gains. When it was much riskier, it had bigger, bigger opportunities. So now what I want to talk about is we want, I want to talk about the price of Pulse X right now. Anyone who remembers the sacrifice phase, the sacrifice phase was the honeymoon phase that we had when we were so excited when we expected 10,000 eggs overnight, and then <laughs> dreams were shattered at launch, and then we had this huge dip. But we've got to start looking at the numbers, right? Because the numbers are what got us excited in the first place. But I think that we're starting to kind of forget that those numbers matter. Let's take a look at the price of Pulse X right now. It's down 89%, uh, 89.5% from SAC phase. Right. And if you had sacrificed much later, you are down even more. And but there's something interesting. We have burned 374 billion pulse eggs. So this thing is burning at an incredible rate. And if you take a look at the daily volume, the daily volume is still there, just moving along. Daily volume is extremely strong, over 20 million, right? So we do we do, we do have some days where there isn't that much trading, we have about 15 million. But roughly 20 to 30 million, though that's the range that we're moving around. So definitely good product market fit. Definitely every single day, there's a lot of burning happening. And if we look at the market cap here again, market cap is at 242 million. It is small. It is now a micro cap at this. Well, I wouldn't call it a micro cap, right? It's still, uh, it's still big, but it's extremely, extremely small. And what we still have, we still have the entire ecosystem right now, the entire Pulse Chain ecosystem, uh, all the Richard Hart coins, they're still trading below the value of HEX on its own at Ethereum during the all-time high. Now, you, the question that I think is important is, do you think that we will not see another bull run? The reason why I'm asking this question is because the sentiment seems to be strongly to the negative side. Now, the question I've got to ask is, do you think we won't see another bull run? I don't think so. I don't think bull runs have ended for crypto because this is not just for Pulse Chain, for Bitcoin as well, for Ethereum as well. We know that assets that are bonded together move up or down together. And for the most part, when Bitcoin pumps, everything else pumps, right? So if we are going to have a Bitcoin bull run, best believe we're going to see price performance on Pulse. Best believe we're going to see price performance on Pulse ship. That's how crypto works for the most part. So what's happening in the entire space right now? We see there's a lot more adoption of Bitcoin. There's a lot more adoption of Ethereum. So all this stuff, there's a lot of growth. Michael Saylor is still buying more Bitcoin. Yes, I do know that Elon Musk uh, was paper handed. He dumped his entire, his entire bag. But we do have a lot of people who are just dollar cost averaging every week, dollar cost averaging every month, dollar cost averaging and going on and 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 on. So the question that I've got to ask to someone who's bearish, do you think we will never see another bull run in the crypto space? Do you think we'll never see it? And if the answer is yes, then, well, yeah, good for you. Because obviously everyone has to do their own research and your own analysis. And if your analysis tells you that bull runs are over, if your analysis tells you bull runs are not over, we will see a pump. We'll see another pump. The question is, how big do you think it, the pump will be, right? Uh, how much do you think uh, all these tokens, your favorite coins, how much do you think that they'll pump? And I think that that's one thing that many people are missing. And uh, so there's that. But as a whole ecosystem, right, what I would wish that we would all do as a, as a community, as an ecosystem, is to really push for good projects that have good product market fit, and because that's what's going to be the onboarding tool that brings more people onto, onto this chain. Now, this chain has clearly definitely proven that it can do extraordinarily well. 
And we've seen a lot of growth, right? I mean, right now I'm here at gopulse.com and they recently uh, released their they released their uh, DEX aggregator. So now you can go on Go uh, Gopulse X. I'll leave a link in, in the description, Gopulse X, uh, sorry, gopulse.com forward slash crypto power talk, and you can swap coins there. That's my referral link. So if you want to support and you want to trade and you want to use this platform, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can get a lot of, you can get for the most part, almost all coins here uh, that are available. You can get Pulse ship if you want to get some Pulse ship. Uh, you can get some pulse ship right here. Now you can also get pulse ship on shipshift.com. You can also get pulse ship at pulsex.com. So there's a lot of places. So what this demonstrates is that there is a lot of building going on in the background, even though the FUD is still around. Now I was just looking earlier at the GitLab, uh, GitLab, the pulse chain repository, and what I see is I see updates, I see upgrades, I see. So clearly, despite the fact that Richard Hart is silent. He's clearly doing some work in the background. Um, oh, who else could be doing it, right? <laughs> right. It's it's there are devs that are building on the background. There's development happening on Pulse X. There's a lot of stuff. There's development happening. I'm sure with the bridge. So there's a lot of work that is that is happening. So despite that all this fad, we still have building that is happening. Despite prices that dip ninety percent a lot in crypto, there's still a lot of building that is happening. Now. The question you still got to ask is that, is all this building in vain? Will it work out to nothing? And I think that everyone's answer to that will determine the kind of actions they take. I think that, I don't think this is the end. I think this is just the beginning. I think that there's going to be a lot more projects that are launching and that are going to be producing really good products that have good product market fit. We've got a lot of stuff that's in the pipeline and super, super exciting stuff. But guys, let's remember the numbers that got us excited are still there. Those numbers, those volumes, we still have them. And we can grow from where we are. Anyway, guys, just thought of just quick rant about the Pulse X, the buy and burn, and about the entire ecosystem as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time.